Alright, what's up people, uh, back again, and uh, this is uh, part 2, basic uh, orbiting tutorial. So, here we are, and uh, just got this basic rocket, and we're going to need a little bit more power to get to orbit. So, I'm going to put on some boosters, and uh, the boosters, if you go down to here, it's on the next page. Um, got these two right here and we're gonna also I'm gonna also teach you about uh, separating stages okay so um, before we put those on actually we need to go over to here to structural and you see these right here these are um, detachment manifolds decouplers the like the decouplers and stuff like that these are for making different stages so um, I'm gonna just choose this. It's uh, yeah, this one right here. This is pretty simple. And um, I want to do like three, maybe four. I'm gonna do three. Three is a uh, pretty good stable. So you come down to here, and I'll make like the uh, like a nuke symbol kind of thing. But it's just saying it's it'll be on three different sides. So, yeah, and also make sure that that's on snap will make it a lot easier to get very, very stable rockets. So, um, you come over here and just, I like to keep everything really, really symmetrical. It's, you know, to me, it's pretty important to keep nice, stable rockets. So, I'm just going to put this right here towards the bottom. And then I'm going to go back over here to Propulsion. And go to these boosters like I was talking about earlier. And put it slightly, like, I'm going to put it towards the bottom so I can get it, like, get this sticking up a little bit farther. It'll just make everything a lot better. So, um, we got that. And then I'm going to put little bit more aerodynamics on it so I'm gonna put these this nose cone that goes very well with that right there. And then I'm gonna put um I'm gonna put some struts on it. You don't have to do this, but it's like to keep everything from wobbling and stuff like that, because like the physics in this game are pretty realistic on like what you can and can't do. So I'm going to just put some struts on it, and I'm going to try to keep it as symmetrical as possible. So you click on that, you, like, you click where you want to put it, and then it'll do this. you got to click on another space to, uh, to get it to lock together like that. So I'm just put those on top, and then one on bottom, just like that. So it should be very, like, it shouldn't move around a whole lot while uh, we're launching this thing. So I don't think that's going to be enough to get us into, like, a really good circular orbit. So I'm going to put maybe another stage on it. Um, sure, why not? Let's, this, this will be good to give you guys a good understanding of different stages so um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this one on here it's kind of sticks out a little more it's uh, kind of easy to see what, what you're doing so I'm gonna put that right there and then we got these um these other little things right here this is gonna be good to like see like right now it's kind of like if I put I put um because the next booster I'm gonna use is this. Oh, actually that works fine like that. Alright, well yeah. Well yeah, never mind about that. So I'm gonna put these on and it's probably I don't know if it's gonna be enough to like propel this thing upward because it has all this fuel it has to launch up, so I might have to do another, but we'll see. I'm going to I'm gonna test it out. This game is all about testing different rocket styles and different things like that. 
see what works and see what doesn't. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put another um, pair of struts, or tree of, of struts, <laughs> rather. I guess that's what it'd be called. Well, actually, it'd be a pair for each one. I don't know. I'm just going to do that. So, now this is should be quite stable. Shouldn't have to worry too much about it, and I'm going to launch it. So let's go to the launch pad. Alright, so I I kind of messed up, and um, you can still do this over here, but you need to make sure before you launch your rocket to make sure each stage is in the correct order. So, what we want is we want these, um, these rockets right here to go first and everything else to be not going at the same time. So, um, you see, like, if you highlight on this, you can see at the bottom right here, like, this is going to be the first thing. And the stages go from, like, um, highest number to lowest. So, it'll, it'll start with these, and then these are going to separate, as you can see right there, because these are separators. And then it's going to go to the next boosters, which are these. And then it's going to go to th their separators, which is right there. And it's going to go to this last rocket engine. So looks like everything is in order. So remember to put on your SAS before you launch. And uh, just to make sure like you don't forget, just go ahead and put the throttle up so we can get a nice clean separation. And then the last thing to do is to ignite. So here we go. And look at that. It has enough power to get all of that off the ground. Check it out. So we will definitely be able to uh, get in a nice orbit, I'm pretty sure. Already uh, accelerating pretty quickly. And uh, we're coming, these are about to lose all their fuel, so we're going to have to separate into the next stage, which all you have to do is press the space bar, which also ignites the next one. But um, I have it so that these fall off and then these don't, but uh, you can change that. So you just press space bar again and it will go into this stage. Um, but what you want to do is try to, um, I just did a poor job because I was explaining, but um, you want to try to make the amount of time in between each stage is like small as possible because uh, you lose a lot of speed that way and it makes it less efficient. So uh, we're going to keep going. Hopefully uh, we can get into a good orbit pretty well so far. Alright, about to go into the next stage. About to press space bar again. Got to press it twice. Alright. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now we are on the last uh, bit of fuel. I'm going to go ahead and turn down my thrust and as you can see from right up here this is where we're going to be I'm gonna I'm going to do this um, I'm going to turn it 90 degrees so right you're gonna have to look right down here at this it, like this is very important um, use the uh, Q E W A S D. Kind of, you can kind of look around and see which each one does. But um, you're gonna turn your ship to 90 degrees. So you can see 90 right there. I'm gonna start turning it. Oh yeah, make sure you turn off S A S too. So I'm gonna start turning it. So it's right at the edge of uh, this over here. So I'm horizontal with Kerbal. And then once you get it to as close as you can, um, press T again, and then you're locked into that place. So then you want to turn your thrusters back on, and now you're going to be on your way 
to get into an orbit. So you can press M and watch this thing as it starts building up. And eventually it will get all the way around the Earth and then you'll be well, Kerbal and it will be, it'll be in an orbit. It takes quite a bit of fuel and um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it. I think we will. It's looking like it. Yeah. Oh yeah, we will. Um, you can also press down here if you want to watch this and uh, get into a better, you know, yeah, there we go. See, and then once you get that, turn your thrusters back down or you'll be heading out <laughs> into the rest of the solar system. So now you're in orbit. Check it out. Um, press M again if you want a little bit more better view. You can watch it. Um, and if you just want to go around Kerbal a few times, um, press uh, period to uh, warp time. And sometimes if you're too low in the atmosphere, it, you can't you can't go like super fast. Right now I'm at like 67. There's still a bit of an atmosphere, so it wants you to wait until you get into a uh, get out of the atmosphere before you can start really warping time. So uh, here we go. You can see the moon right there. And now we're going on to the dark side of the planet. So now we're uh, about 200,000 meters up. Um, we're getting into the highest point of the orbit. Um, right now the orbit is kind of uh, elliptical, so we want to get it a little bit more circular. So. Um, a good way to do that, there's they added this new feature in here, um, is you can see like this little bubble right here. If you uh, left click on it, it'll say add maneuver. So you click on that, and this is going to be like the next maneuver. You want to you want to make this more circular, so you need to make this side go out farther. So the way you do that is you kind of add. Like you, you click on this and you hold it and you kind of drag it over and you see this is starting to pull up. And then eventually this thing is going to flip. Like you see the PE right there and the, uh, the AP right there. It will flip just like that. And what you want to do is kind of get it um, like instead of it being right there and there you want it like side to side like that. And it will be very very close to a perfect circle. So once you do that, um, you press M again, and then you turn your ship to wherever you see this little blue shape, which is, is right there. So click on that, or just get it lined up as close as you can before you get to uh, your destination or the next maneuver spot, whatever. And uh, Turn your SAS module back on right there. And as you can see right here, it'll tell you how much time is left until you're going to pass over the node. So we're just going to wait until about five seconds or so um, because we have a hundred and ten meters per second we have to get up to. So, um, so just warp time just a little bit, just a little bit get to about five seconds and then go ahead and start your burn turn the thrusters on and that should do it right there and then turn it back down so you're not always gonna get it perfect um, but this is pretty good where it's at this is two hundred uh, and nine thousand and this is two hundred four thousand meters up so it's not bad it's actually uh, pretty circular so that should do it hopefully I was clear on any problems people were having anything like that or people that just didn't know what to do at all um, if you have any questions just you know put it down in the comments I'll uh, try to help out and uh, that should do it for this tutorial 
Um, I I think the next thing to do is going to be uh, maybe docking and creating your own space station. I'll, uh, I'll give you guys a quick preview on what my space station is uh, looking like right now. Zoom out, click, double click on uh, that, and here we are in... Oh, okay, there it is. Check it out. This is my space station. It's, uh, it's doing pretty good. Um, I think the next two, like, you have to, you can't just, you know, put a rocket and just launch the entire thing up. You gotta build it in pieces. So, the next piece I'm gonna do is, um, probably, like, another piece right here and put it right here and just kind of get this thing, like, really symmetrical. It'll be, uh, pretty interesting to see, but, uh, this could be it for this episode. Hope to see you guys uh, getting into a little bit more advanced stuff in the next episode. Thanks for watching.